Hello, I'm Kayla Sprague, and I want to welcome you to our All Israel Prayer Points. Thank you for joining me here on the rooftop of the oldest Protestant church in all of Israel. As you can see, there are absolutely incredible views of the Mount of Olives, the Temple Mount, and all around the old city walls from this vantage point. Standing here right now reminds me of Psalm 122.7. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. I want us now to turn to our updates and see how we can join in prayer together. A potentially historic moment is unfolding right now in the Middle East. U.S. envoy of Amos Hochstein has arrived in Beirut with what American officials believe is the most serious attempt yet to end the fighting. The proposed agreement includes a 60-day ceasefire period, including which Hezbollah would withdraw beyond the Latani River, with the Lebanese military and UN forces taking control of southern Lebanon. If successful, Israeli forces would then withdraw from Lebanese territory, potentially bringing lasting peace in Israel's northern border. While optimism exists on both sides, critical issues remain unresolved, particularly regarding enforcement mechanisms and the right to self-defense. With this in mind, let's lift up these focused prayer points together. Let's pray for divine wisdom to guide the negotiators and leaders as they work through critical details. Let's pray for hidden agendas or deceptive terms to be exposed and prevented. Let's pray for effective verification systems to ensure all parties honor their commitments. And let's pray for the safe and swift return of displaced families to their homes. Most importantly, true and lasting peace for this entire region, not just a temporary pause in hostilities. We're asking for God's will to be done and for him to help us see from his perspective. As I've been standing here, I'm reminded of the words of Isaiah 33:20. Look on Zion, a peaceful abode, a tent that will not be moved. Its stakes will never be pulled up, nor any of its ropes broken. What scriptures are you praying over this current situation and over Israel? Share them in the comments below so that we can be encouraged and join our prayers together with those around the world. Stay tuned for more updates and prayer points in the coming days, and please visit us at allisrael.com for on-the-ground news and continual coverage. May the God of Israel bless you and keep you. Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem.